Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. No sooner had Uhuru Kenyatta endorsed Raila Odinga for the presidency than William Ruto returned to Uhuru Kenyatta's backyard of Kiambu, where he was breathing fire, claiming that Uhuru Kenyatta had betrayed him and betrayed his people. William Ruto was too bold to the point that he even reminded Uhuru Kenyatta of all the good deeds he did for him in the past. And all this he would only repay by supporting Raila Odinga, a project that will eventually fail in the forthcoming election. William Ruto aliambia Uhuru umetutesa sana umetunyanyasa sana tulisimama na wewe mwaka wa 2013 2017 tukaenda ICC tukafanya mambo mingi sana lakini sasa umetusahau hata watu wa makanisa walituombea na pia hao umewasahau and William Ruto was not sparing anything he was out right telling Uhuru Kenyatta by crossing the bridge and going to Azimio la Moja it was an act of ultimate betrayal and in the same Larry Athika Stadium we saw Uhuru Ruto doing the ultimate comeback he wanted to prove to Uhuru Kenyatta that he is still the Mount Kenya kingpin and he would show his greatness in Uhuru Kenyatta's backyard. It is there that we saw William Kaboko declaring that he had joined UDA. Do not forget that William Kaboko has always complained that Uhuru William Ruto had shortchanged him in the Jubilee nomination for the Kiambu governorship leading to his loss to one Ferdinand Waititu. But here we saw a new Kaboko, a man who has had a Damascus moment, a man who had seen the light, and the light was UDA, where he vowed to campaign for one William Ruto and run for his governorship, not now under his Tujenge Tujibebe party, but under UDA and you can even see from this video how he declared in public that he was UDA body and soul wachoni ni waonyesha mchana mahali kura yangu ya rais mimi naweka waonyesha saa hii mchana mheshimiwa rais tarehe kuja hapa reminded the audience that he had advised William Ruto that instead of waiting for the endorsement of the president, he could have taken the initiative and gone to the people and sold his candidacy. And he hid the vice council of one William Kabogo and he succeeded. Again, Kabogo reminded the crowd that the president was not needed to show the people direction. The people could decide for themselves. In this way, William Kabogo was showing the president that he no longer has a voice. He no longer has command in his own backyard. That the future is UDA. William, William Ruto did not forget to tell us that. They had suffered tremendously through Jubilee leadership. 
they have been persecuted by KRE, by DCI, by the Office of Director of Public Prosecution. They have had their businesses demolished. They have gone from worse to worse in terms of economic emancipation or rather emasculation. And now they need a new leadership. And this leadership will be found in August 9th. And the leader at the helm will be one William Ruto. Again, we saw William Ruto being able to poach one Kimanu Matangi, who has been a, an ardent Uhuru Kenyatta supporter, a man who faithfully supported the BBI project until its eventual collapse, or should we say until we wait for the outcome of the Supreme Court. And we saw William Ruto bring into his fold several MCAs and other leaders to his fold, and in a way wanting to show the president that he had locked Mount Kenya region from any penetration by the president Azimio Naumoja or Azimio Oka coalition, if you might go by Kalonzo's new definition. The consequences will yet to be seen for Huru must mount a comeback to wrestle the mountain away from William Ruto and back to his own hands. That's all. Thank you. Kindly like and subscribe this channel.